Welcome to Talking About the Bible with Reverend Bob Wood. Today we're going to be uh, having a conversation uh, about Islam and the God of Islam and how it relates to Christianity. Our question came in in an email that said, Is the God of Islam the same God that Christians worship? does not seem right to me, but that's what everyone is telling me. Well, you're right. Everyone is saying that. In fact, you'll find it on the media all the time where they say, you know, this religion of peace, it's, you know, the, all the religions should just get along. Everything is the same. It's all the same God anyway. And uh, to answer the question, uh, I want to say, let's look at what Islam says about the Christian God and see if Islam recognizes that Christianity and Islam are, are the same. Now, I know there's a lot of preachers on YouTube, and when I say preachers, I'm talking about Islamic preachers. Maybe you don't know that, but there are Islamic preachers on YouTube who do preach in English and teach in English, and they'll talk about how they respect Jesus more than anybody. They're really just you know the same as Christians until you get deeper into it. Today I'm going to look at the Quran, at Surah chapter 5, starting in verse 72. We're going to look at just a few verses here, and it will tell us everything we need to know about what Islam thinks about Christianity. Now a little background about, about Islam. Islam was started about 700 years after Christianity, after Jesus died and rose from the dead. Islam uh, started because a man got a vision and uh, that man was Muhammad, and he uh, had a vision. And sometimes his visions are with, uh, with Allah, the God of Islam, and sometimes it's with the angel Gabriel, different times. And part of what goes on that makes up this book called the Quran is that Allah speaks, or Gabriel for Allah, speaks to Muhammad, and Muhammad is told to memorize and then recite to the people the words of, of Allah. And so what we have in the Quran nowadays is the memory of the people who learned the recitations of Muhammad. Muhammad did not write anything down. Uh, as far as we know, he was not literate. But it was his later followers who took the sayings and put them into the Quran. Now I have no, I'm not arguing that point. I will accept that that Muhammad had a vision of a God that he called Allah, but I'm, I do take exception to, and we're going to look at the text and see, is that Allah the same as the Christian God? Surah chapter 5, verse 72, and yes, I'm reading out an English translation because I don't think my audience or myself would be uh, able to understand the uh, Arabic. 72 starts off, They do blaspheme who say Allah is, is Christ the son of Mary. But said Christ, O children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Whoever joins other gods with Allah, Allah will forbid him the garden, and the fire will be his abode. There will, for the wrongdoers, be no one to help. Now this verse really uh, I, I'm going to read some others, but this verse really says it all. It says right there in the beginning that the that the Muslims see those who see Christ as God as blasphemers. Allah, Christ, the Son of Mary. That's what we say that that God is Christ, and Christ is God. And we're going to look at some verses and see if that claim that we make as Christians is backed up by the scriptures. And then the second thing, the second, uh, really third sentence in the, in the verse, as it's in this English translation, says, But said Christ, O children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. And you know, I have looked in the Gospels. I can't find anywhere where Jesus says, O children of Israel, worship Allah. It's not there. It's not there. So I, I have to wonder, where did Muhammad get this information that this is a quote from, from Jesus? Well, I've, apparently, if you're a Muslim, you would believe that Allah told him that this is what Jesus taught, even though none of the testimonies written 
of Jesus' life, which is information from people who actually knew Jesus, actually walked with him, talked with him, uh, was there with him during his ministry, ever hear Jesus saying, or ever record Jesus saying, O children of Israel, worship Allah. In the next phrase, it says there, whoever joins other gods with Allah, in other words, talking about the belief that Jesus is God, that Jesus and Allah are one, uh, Allah will forbid him the garden, that's heaven, and the fire, that's hell, will be his abode. There will be, for the wrongdoers, no one to help. So there we have it. In verse 72, if Jesus claimed to be the Son of God, and if, as we as Christians believe, he is God, then we are blasphemers. So let's see what actually Jesus said. I'm going to turn in my copy of the Gospels to John chapter 10, verse 22 through verse 33. John chapter 10, verse 22 through verse 33. And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication, and it was winter. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews around him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us to doubt? If you be the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's names, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they know me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. And Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my Father. For which of these works do ye stone me? And the Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because thou, being a man, makest thyself to be God. That pretty much tells us what, as it was witnessed by the followers of Jesus, the Jews thought, about Jesus. They thought that he was claiming to be God, to be the Christ and to be God and and committing blasphemy. That's why they wanted to stone him. Later on in the stories of the Gospels, as he's at his trial, he is asked, tell us clearly, are you the Christ, the Son of the living God? And Jesus responds with the words, I am. Am The claim of Jesus was he was the son of God. He was part of the triune God. He was God. Now, Muslim preachers who are trying to confuse people to follow Islam and leave Christianity will say, find in the Bible where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. And Jesus, no, he doesn't say those exact words, but even producing such an argument is kind of ridiculous because I could say, show me in in the book where Allah says, uh, and, and make some quote up and say those exact words, say where those are in, 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 the, in the Quran. It's kind of ridiculous. But Jesus clearly in the scriptures, by his actions, by his words, by his interactions with others, claimed the Messiahship claimed to be God. And we as Christians uh, believe he is. We pray in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Or we pray, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We claim him to be God. John chapter 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And that word, as you go on and read the rest of the verses, is clearly talking about Jesus, the son of Mary. Everything in the New Testament, everything in the Gospels points to Jesus' claim that he was the Messiah, the Christ, the son of the living God. And if he's not, then that's not Christianity. That is what is the definition of Christianity. 
Verse 73, back to chapter 5 of the Quran, the Surah 5, verse 73. They do blaspheme who say Allah is one of three in a trinity. For there is no God except one Allah. If they desist not from their word of blasphemy, verily a grievous penalty will fall, befall the blasphemers among them. And the next verse in the Quran, after we read that one about Jesus goes on to talk about the Trinity. If you believe Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, if you believe when uh, John baptized uh, Jesus, and Jesus was there in the river, and a voice came from heaven saying, This is my Son, and then a dove came and rested on Jesus, that that is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit visually apparent, and that the Godhead is made up of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, then according to the Islam, you are a blasphemer and you do not follow Allah. So the answer to the question is clear. As far as the Muslims feel, we who believe in a trinity are not following the same God they are. Verse 74. Why turn you not to Allah and seek his forgiveness? For Allah is forgiving, most merciful. Verse 75, Surah chapter 5, verse 75 of the Quran. Christ, the son of Mary, was no more than an apostle. Many were the apostles that passed away before him. His mother was a woman of truth. They had both to eat their daily food. See how Allah doth make his signs clear to them. Yet see in what ways they are deluded away from the truth. So if you believe that Jesus was something more than just a prophet or apostle, you believe he was the son of God, then you are a blasphemer and you have wandered away from the truth. For Islam, Jesus was a teacher, a prophet. They, most Islamic teachers, or many, do not believe Jesus died on the cross. They believe that an imposter died on the cross, that Jesus did not. They don't believe in the fundamentals of the Christian faith, but they'll tell you, and their preachers will say in English, that they honor Jesus more than Christians do. And that's just not true. It's a lie. They relegate Jesus to a teacher or a prophet, where we recognize him as the Son of God, the Lamb of God who died for the sins of the world, the one who was resurrected to give us the hope of eternal life, we believe he is the creator. These are the things that Christianity teaches about Jesus. Now, there are some great Muslims, and you may have friends that are Muslims, and I'm not, not saying they're not good, some good people. But I, what I am saying is that the religion of Islam teaches that Christianity is blasphemous, idolatry worship, and that we're doomed for hell. So I want you to remember that, especially if, you, if you're a young person and you're thinking about m marrying a Muslim, if you uh, have friends who are Muslim and they want you to participate in their religion, recognize that their religion is contrary to Christianity. It teaches that our God is a false God. Well, thank you for joining me today. We uh, look forward to see, talking to you again about things that interest you. So send me your questions about the Bible, things you think we should discuss, to talkingaboutthebible at icloud.com. I'd be excited to hear your questions and respond to them. Have a great day.